Hello again. So today I just want to talk about being a foster parent, but specifically being a foster mom. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell and we have eight children and we are just the Bell's 10. Like I said, I want to talk about being a foster mom. I do feel that when you become a foster parent, I think that the moms deal with some things that maybe the foster dads don't deal with. So I just want to address some of them. And of course, I'm just going to share with you my personal experience, my opinions, and just how I I worked with birth moms, birth parents, and just, you know, maybe some tips that might be able to help you out also. When you start bringing children into your home, to some extent, you are going to be working with the birth parents. And in our situation, I found that we worked with birth mothers more than the birth fathers. Usually there wasn't a birth father around, or if there was, he really wasn't in the picture anymore. So we dealt a lot with the birth moms. So working with these these parents or birth mom, um, I found that usually I was really the one that was kind of attacked or targeted or reported. Not so much my husband, but more me. And I just think that's probably because, you know, usually you're dealing with the birth moms to start. And as a birth mom, you know, there is kind of that strain to start because, you know, just think of it for yourself. Like if somebody came and they had your child and they were making decisions that you used to make, of course, you're going to be a little high, high alert. You're going to be skeptical. Um, you're going to be oppositional, you know? And so as a foster mom, you have to expect that. Expect the birth mom to struggle with you or to maybe complain or maybe be at odds. And I don't think it's, they're not thankful. I think it's just the fact that you know, we're mothers. And so God instills in us to have that mothering nature, that, that nurturing where we want to nurture our children. We want to protect our children. You know, we, we want to comfort our children. And when that gets taken away from you, you know, I know for me, as my children are moving out, I feel like, who am I? Like, what's my purpose? And so, um, of course, you know, I'm just giving you my opinions, but I just feel like these birth moms, I think that they, they get to that where they're like, okay, what's my purpose? Like, I don't have my children even. And I do understand that there are situations where there's serious situations or situations that, you know, aren't too bad that can be worked through. And I, I totally get that. But I do feel like as mothers, we're kind of like mama bears, right? Like we want to protect our kids. You know, if somebody says something about our kids, like we're right on there. If we feel like somebody's trying to hurt our kids, we kind of get into like crazy mom mode, you know? And I just, I feel like these birth moms, when their children get removed and placed into other homes with other moms, you know, I'm sure they, they feel insecure. I'm sure they're just not sure what's going on or, or maybe they think that you're trying to steal their children or you're, tr or you know better than them, you know? And so it does take a lot of patience and prayer and, and you got to just really be kind and you kind of got to understand what they're going through, you know, um, and you don't want to be at odds with them because as a foster mom or as a mom or a woman, I really, really do believe that we should be supporting each other, not because the situation is perfect, but because if you see other women or moms or birth moms, you know, struggling, I think we need to be there for each other, you know, and I, and I truly believe that a lot of these birth moms and their kids, when their kids are placed in foster care, I really, really do feel like they look to these foster moms or these other women that are in foster care as like an acceptance, you know, or maybe, Hey, I understand. I'm here for you. I'm here to help you. I think they just need to know that you support them you want to help them, you love them, and that you're going to take care of their kids until they get to a point where they can have their children back. Because like I've said before, foster care is about reunifying the family. And so, you know, foster moms, you're going to be attacked. You're going to be called names. They're going to accuse you of things. You know, you're going to be the target because you have stepped into this position with other, with another woman's children. And so sometimes they might see you as the enemy, but I think it's important that we, you look at the situation and try and understand them and try and be a help to them. When we did foster care, we really tried to be as involved as we were allowed to be. You know, um, we would have the families come over for holidays, 
you know, we would um, allow them to have, you know, some family member to come grab the children for special events or come to our church or, you know, and I really, I made sure that I was helping these moms, trying to be a friend to them. You know, I have one um, mom that we're friends still and she's wonderful and I would take her daughter to her. We would have lunch. And when she got her new place, she called me and said, can you come see my new place? And at the time, her daughter was still in care with me. And I'm like, of course I am. And so I go over there and I check out her place and I was excited for her and I would pray for her and, and I would make sure her daughter was all beautiful, you know, because she really needed that acceptance and that friendship that maybe she wasn't getting, you know, maybe, you know, there's a history where maybe her mom wasn't as involved in her life as she would like. And, and so I really think that it, it's important to us to really understand the situation and really to be there to be a help. You know, I, I dealt with one foster mom that I would get her, her child all perfect, like just ready to, whoo, do you see that fly? Um, actually a bee, ah, but anyway, I would, you know, I would make sure that child was just perfect and give them a bath and comb their hair nice because I wanted them to look their best to see their mom. And that child would come back with different clothes, with different hair. And you know what? I didn't get offended because you have to remember that these moms, you know, these children's moms, they don't have a lot left. They don't have a lot of control over their children. They don't get to see the children all the time. You know, when children get placed in foster care, a lot of that decision-making they don't have anymore. And so I, I didn't get offended. I didn't get upset because if that's what that birth mom needed to do to feel still connected with her child and, and to, to, to feel that she's taking care of her child and that she's still making a difference in that child's life, then that's what they do. You don't get upset and mad and, and call, holy cow, I'm being attacked by bees today. You don't call the social worker and say, oh, can you believe what they did? I mean, you're there to help them. We're there to help them. We're there to build them up. We're there to be excited when they do, when these moms get these milestones, when they reach them, when they find a place, when they find a job. We're there to support them, to congratulate them, and to let them know that we're excited too. That's why we're there. We're not there to see who has the most power, who has the most things. We're not there to make those birth moms feel bad because they can't take care of them at the time. We're not there to shove it into their face that I have your child. Yeah, they're safe here. They have a home. They have clothes. That's not our purpose. Our purpose is a stopping ground. And honestly, as a foster mom, or if you want to become a foster parent, if that's not something that you think you can do, then I would definitely rethink the situation because you are going to be involved in these birth moms life moms. You're going to be involved in these birth moms lives. You're going to love them. You're going to support them. You're going to care for them. And I have to tell you, there are several moms that I still, I follow them. I talk to them when I can, because you know, they have lives too, you know? Um, and, and I, I'm, I see pictures and I'm so excited. You know, there's some that I don't see, but I hear that they're doing well. And you know, if we weren't there to support them and to believe in them, maybe they wouldn't have done as well. Maybe they would have never gotten their kids back. You know, it's not uh, I win and I lose because I know I've said this before, but when a family splits up, it's not a win situation, you know? And so we want to make sure that we're supporting other moms. We're helping them. We're their biggest hero, not their hero. We're their biggest fan not their hero. We're their biggest fan. We're their biggest support. And, you know, offer that. And, and I think these moms just want to know we care about them. I think they want to know. And I think if they knew we cared about them, they wouldn't be so on the offensive. And, you know, I'm far from perfect and I'm sure I've made mistakes and I'm sure I could have done things differently because I was also learning when I was a foster mom. And I wish I was given this advice. I think a lot of situations would have been differently. I think I'd have handled them differently, you know, but I think right away, if, if the situation allows, let that foster mom or let that birth mom know, I love you. I'm here for you. I'm here to help you. And these are your children. And we're going to help you because you love your kids and they love you. And I'm telling you just to add, and you know, too, if you're a mom or, or you know, a birth mom, a mom, a foster mom, there's a bond with a mom and her child. 
And there's a bond that no matter how hard you try and fight against it, whatever you do, it's always going to be there. Even if the birth mom didn't take care of her kids or it was a bad situation, there's still going to be that bond with the child because they love their mom. They might be disappointed. They might be hurt. They might be upset. But, you know, even if the child never goes back to the birth mom, there still is that bond, you know, and, and it's so important that we support the birth parents and the birth mom as much as we can, you know, and, and if it does come down to where, you know, the, the parents weren't able to do what they needed to do and you adopt those, those children, be open to keeping the lines of communication open. Keep trying to help them. You don't ever want to give up on people. Never, never give up on them. You know, we've had situations that were great. We've had situations where I cried and I'm thinking, fight for your kids, fight for your kids, you know? And it just, oh, I mean, I, I, I don't have all the answers. I just can only share with you things that help me, uh, things that I wish I would have known before I became a foster mom, you know, because it, it really, you know, grandparents are involved and siblings are involved and parents are involved. It's not just you're bringing that child into your home and that's it. it it's it's a whole network. It's, it's the social workers. And I know I've mentioned this too. It's just, it's a whole network that you're working together with. You know, and I, I have to be honest with you, I'm so thankful that I opened my home and my heart to some of these birth moms because they're just, they're just great. I mean, they just, they're, they're the sweetest, they're the best moms. They, they got their lives together and their kids are doing great and just open your heart to them. Will you be hurt? Sure, you'll be hurt at times. Will it go perfect? No, it's not going to go perfect at times, but you'll be thankful even if the situation doesn't go the way you want, or even the situation, you know, you'll never see them again or the kids. It's okay to just open your heart to these families, open your heart to these moms, and you know, let the children know that you love their mom. Let the children know if they're old enough to understand that you care about their families and you care about them. Lift up their parents. Lift up their birth moms to them. Pray for them. We, we would pray with our kids. And the kids are in foster care. We pray for their families. We pray for their grandmas. We pray for their birth moms. We pray for their moms. I mean, we prayed for everything, you know. So make sure you include them in your everyday talk and your prayers. And, and just really encourage the children too because they're struggling too, you know. And it's not just about the kids. It, it ultimately, foster care is, is about the children, but it really is about families. And, you know... You definitely have to do what you feel is best for your family, but I, I wouldn't rule out opening your heart and your home and becoming friends with these birth moms and supporting them and lifting them up and being kind to them. And, you know, I went to lunch with lots of birth moms. I went to dinner with lots of birth moms. I spent holidays with birth moms. I, you know, went to some of their events or their milestones. I mean, it's, I'm telling you, it, Oh, you're just going to be so blessed and so thankful. And I'm telling you too, I'm telling you too, I've learned a lot from these birth moms. I have. They have showed me different things. They've showed me how strong they are and how they can fight for what they want. And they've shown me how they've come from nothing and have everything. They, they, I've learned so much from these mothers that just they they've helped me become a mom too you know and oh I, I I could just go on and on and on and on but I just wanted to share with you just some thoughts on being a foster mom and 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 dealing with the birth moms and and I have had birth moms that don't like me they still don't like me they don't want to have anything to do with me but that didn't stop me from trying that didn't stop me from me letting them know I care about them that didn't stop me from reaching out to more of the family because our children need their family. They need us all, right? Because it takes a village to raise a child. It really does. It takes the adoptive family. It takes the birth family. It takes the social workers that are part of your life. It takes their siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, their extended family. It really does, you know, and the more support those children have and their families, it's just gonna help their families get back together sooner 
It's gonna give them more confidence and you really are gonna build lasting friendships with a lot of them. I mean, it, I know it's not easy and I know you guys are thinking, hmm, I know I'm a little skeptical. What she said here isn't right or what she said. I'm just sharing with you my thoughts. I'm sharing with you my experience, things I dealt with. I even, can. I, 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 I was one way when I started foster care and I changed. Because these things I'm telling you, I start to I started to see as we became oh, more bees as we became you know foster parents after years and years. These are things I learned myself, and and these are things that I seen, and I really had to put down that shield and open my heart. And and is it is it nervous to do that? Do you get nervous? Yeah. Are you afraid at times? Yeah. But you just you're gonna know when it's safe. When it's not safe, you're gonna know if it's okay or not okay, but don't, just try though. Just try. Just try it with one of your birth moms. Just try it. See what happens. I think you'd be surprised how open they are to having another friend or another extended family or who really needs the help but don't wanna ask or they've never had that support so they might not know how to respond right away, but you're never gonna go wrong being kind opening your heart to others in, in need and struggling. You're never gonna go wrong, ever. That's my thoughts on being a foster mom, my thoughts on being a part of these birth moms' lives and their families' lives and just helping them out. And like I said in the last video, it will change you. These families will change you, these children will, children will change you, they'll create in you a different person and just be ready for it. And I'm telling you, I have not, you know, the best hugs I've ever gotten were from birth moms. The best hugs ever, like ever.